Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 25. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before Elohim and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a woman that agree together. Three sorts of men my soul hates, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old man that breaks wedlock that dotes. If you have gathered nothing in your youth, how can you find anything in your age? Oh, how comely a thing is judgment for gray hairs and for ancient men to know counsel. Oh, how comely is the wisdom of old men and understanding and counsel to men of honor. Much experience is the crown of old men and the fear of Elohim is their glory. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children, and he that lives to see the fall of his enemy. Well is him that dwells with a woman of understanding, and that has not slipped with his tongue, and that has not served a man more unworthy than himself. Well is him that has found prudence, and he that speaks in the ears of them that will hear. Oh, how great is he that finds wisdom, yet is there none above him that fears Yahuwah. But the love of Yahuwah passes all things for illumination. He that holds it, whereto shall he be likened? The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of his love, and belief is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Giving me any plague, rather, give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, and any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me, and any revenge but the revenge of enemies. There is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. Her man shall sit among his neighbors, and when he hears it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged, so is a woman full of words to a quiet man. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintain her man, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A wicked woman abates the courage, makes a heavy countenance, and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her man in distress makes weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. If she go not as you would have her, cut her off from your flesh, and give her a sefer of divorce, and let her go.